You stole fifty thousand dollars from your dad, and he sent Bull after you. Yeah. I thought my dad had trouble knowing where the line is. He would never send someone like Bull after me. You know, when I was young, I used to think that he was just a mean sob with a bad temper and a good income from the garage. But when I was 15 years old, one night he takes me out and we pull up next to this sports car. It's parked on the side of the road. And he tosses me his toolkit and he says, open the door. So I think the owners call the garage. I pop the lock. Meanwhile, my dad's underneath the hood. The next thing you know, the motor's running. He says, follow me back to the garage. I'm 15 years old, I don't even have my license, but I do what I'm told. So we get back, he tells me to pull all the way around where his crew's waiting. And they're all laughing and patting me on the back. Seems I stole my first car. What did you do? I said, no way. No. And he gave me a black eye. Let's me think about it for a couple of days. I still say no. And he breaks my nose. He takes a cast and a sling for me to give in and join that crew. So yeah, my old man's a real piece of work. Abby said that Sarah hasn't been home since graduation, but I mean, I'm sure she'll call to check up on Hope. And the sergeant didn't say anything about where she's going after the ceremony? No, I mean, we talked, but not about that. She's been kind of to herself lately. Because of me? And me. She's really disappointed in everything that happened with Ford and Marco. And the whole Hannah situation that you won't even consider that she might be lying to you. Oh, trust me. I'm considering that. What about your mom? Was she just like him? No. She left when I was little. I can't believe I made you steal cars. That was the least of it. He saw that I was good in the garage, so he pulled me out of high school, and he trained me up real well. I got so good that I could make a car disappear. I became Dayton's go-to gearhead. I mean, I could make a brand new car out of used parts. My dad thought it was a beautiful thing. So he was proud of you? Except for when he wasn't. Start. If I didn't get out of there, I was gonna end up in prison, or dead, or even worse. What's worse than being dead? Ending up like my dad. do that. That's okay, I got it. It's all good. Here you go, baby. So sorry, Cole. I never should have lied to you about Ford. I just... I didn't know how to tell Marco. I, I didn't want to hurt him. I never meant to mess things up between you guys. I talked to him when we were locked up. He listened. I'm not sure it made any difference. I told the cops that I was the one who tried to kill Ford. You did? Yeah. John didn't believe me, though. But he heard Marco and I talking, and he realized that Marco was innocent. So that's good, I guess. Doesn't really matter, though, because Marco still hates me. He loved you. I threw it away for that jerk. Don't you ever do that, Hope, OK? You stick to the winners, like your mom and dad. Lucky Star is still talking to me. Do you think you could ever forgive me? If what you're saying is true, I totally understand why you would want to get out of there. But why would you steal the money? I mean, you knew that he would come after you. I left him a note. I told him I'd pay him back as soon as I could. I mean, I had it all figured out. I was going to hook up with my brother and start a garage of my own. Wait, your brother? Yeah, he's older. He, uh... Got a scholarship and got out. I mean, I never even finished high school. I was planning on getting my GED and taking a couple of night classes at OU. That, that's where my brother is a teacher's assistant. Well, it was until somebody put him in the hospital. Ford's your brother? You know Bobby. Uh, yeah. She came on. How do you know my brother? <sighs> Let's just say he gets around. What do you mean? He's a womanizer. It's him. Yeah? 
That wasn't very nice of you, James, taking off like that. I wanted to meet your little friend. Look, you leave her out of this. Afraid I can't do that, James. Not until you give your father back his money. Are you hearing me? I told you I don't have the money. That's too bad. I guess I'll just have to hunt you down. You and your little girlfriend. And when I find you, James, I'm not going to be able to let her go. Do you understand me? Look, I don't know how I'm going to get us out of this, but I can't let you get hurt. Call the cops. I can't really think about any of that right now. You know, I have to find Star and make things right with her. Uh, I'm gonna go to the apartment and see if she's there. Come on. Wait, wait, before you call the cops, and before all hell breaks loose, I, I just really wanted to thank you. You know, I mean, for everything. I'm not going to call the cops. I'm going to call and check on my little girl, and I'm going to tell my family that I'm okay. And you're a good liar. So give me an excuse, seeing that I'm not going to be home for a while. I need to tell them something. Looks like it or not, you and me were in this together. If I wasn't... Let me go find Mommy and apologize to her. And tell her how much I love my girls. Okay, I'll take a come here, baby. Yeah, yeah we go find Mommy. Mom. Do me a favor, Cole. When you find Star, will you let me know? I'm kind of worried about her, too. I mean, I know it's probably just her stupid phone, but still. Okay, I'll call you. Okay. All right, come on, baby. Let's go get you cleaned up. Please call me as soon as you get this. I have to talk to you. There's something really important I have to tell you. Hello? Cole? Star? <laughs> 